Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing on the Direwolf 20 pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well today. We are going to upgrade our armor and our tools and our weapons. We're going to go all out and go for the high tier draconic evolution stuff. So let's get started. Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look here at this armor. We've got the Flux and Fuse stuff. We've been using this for a long time. I realize that we used this up during, during those Inner Dragon fights last episode. So let's get this charged back up. We should be good to go here now. Yes, yes we do. All right. So yes, that's what we're going to be doing today is going into the Draconic Evolution stuff. We're going to go all out on it so that means that we need to do a little bit of work over here and i do believe we should be able to just go right smack into here this is where we set up all of that fusion crafting stuff last time and we've got high powered high powered uh, of these draconic energy crystals on the backs of these things all right so our first order of business today is we're going to see if everything's good here yeah everything's kosher here all right we're going to upgrade these guys and i think we have to do this one at a time let's take a look at the what are they crafting injectors that's what we're going for crafting injectors like this yep we need to go to the draconic oh let's see we've got the wyvern right so now we need to go to the draconic section so we need what Four, four diamonds, and then two wyvern cores, and an awakened draconian block, and one of these. So we got, what, eight? No, seven. Seven total. So I think we can grab, uh, let's see, one. We got ten total. So we can do three at a time. All right. So we're going to grab, uh, let's see, the awakened cores, right? We're going to leave six in there and then we need what 40 diamonds because we're going to be doing 10 of these so that's good right there and then boom and there we go there's a 40 and then the wyvern cores we're going to need 20 of these so let's get that started crafting here should be good to go how long is that going to take not too long at all not too long at all okay so we got the 20 all right so i think what we can do is now go into this one by one and we'll get our get these things set up okay right two per yeah wait how's that go no we're gonna need 10 okay i get it we'll we'll get this figured out so we need 10 of those and then we split this up 10 across there and then 10 there okay yep so we'll do like that and that that and then we'll go across the bottom here uh just like so fill in each of these and then we should be able to just throw in uh one no i think just one at a time is sufficient we'll do that so it's charging up pretty quickly i guess how much energy does this thing take actually is that going to show up okay that shows up there we'll do injector and we'll go up to the draconic level 1.792 million okay well that's not too bad and we've got one there we'll throw the next one on and we should be able to say like so okay and that should still be to output yep still on output okay and it's crafting up and of course we could speed up the crafting uh with our acceleration wand but you know what this is going to be more of the same i've got to do this what, eight more times now so rather than bring you along for all of that i am going to cut here and we're going to just do the uh, the hokey pokey on these injectors and move all these ingredients around and that's what it's all about back in a bit 
Well, isn't that a sight to behold right there? We've got the next tier up, the Draconic Fusion Crafting Injectors. And now it's time to upgrade our Relay Crystals. So let's do that, shall we? Okay, let's take a look here. We're going to need to go up to this Draconic Energy Relay Crystal. That means we need uh, two of those, uh, which are crafted from one of those. So it's kind of a circular reference here. So we go into the Fusion Crafting. We need four of these Wyvern Energy Relay Crystals and to make the Draconic Energy Relay. And then we've got this Fusion Crafting thing. Now, to, to get four... That means I'd have to take down this whole network and go back. And we don't want to do that. So we're just going to face the loss of these. Okay. And we'll make this up right. Uh, no, not that one. We don't want the wireless. Yes, I could use the wireless. And some of you may have already told me this. I'm I'm backlogging. Okay. Just to let you know. You may have told me in the comments. Um, but, but yeah, um, we're not doing the wireless. We're just going to go for the straight up energy relay right up next to these things and so we need four of these can we do that one nope you know what i think it's probably time that we go and make that that crafting recipe so yes we're going to have to jump out of here we'll go into our auto our storage area okay and then we'll see if we can make a pattern for that thing wyvern energy core so we need this guy yeah can we don't have patterns do we have any patterns stored no we don't have patterns stored let's just make uh, far more than we'll ever need ever again probably so let's see yeah we got some patterns there okay we're good we've got that one and we'll get the rest of these and then we should be able to go up here and say molecular assembler okay way to go server saving the world there good job Okay, I think I think we're pretty good there. Uh, the Wyvern Core is right there. Draconic Core is right there. So overall, I think everything else is taken care of. So we should be able to go back to over here. And yes, you notice that I'm not really worried about nighttime anymore because we're staying most of the time in our compact machines. So we're losing, what, 1,400 thousand rf a tick okay we should be fine um yeah so let's go over here we're going to need to make those wyvern cores so i don't know how many but let's just get that going okay and then we should be able to do the relay crystal i don't want to spend too much time on this because uh we do have some other stuff to get into so you've kind of already seen this process let's just do a stack of those shall we because we're going to need it coming up so we'll make that and then we'll go for uh, looking here once again so four of these goes into four of the draconic level we're going to need five wyvern energy core no, four wyvern energy cores a wyvern core and four diamonds so let's do this uh four of these right or one Man, I lost it already. Let's see if this can remember what we've done. Right here, standard keep. And then we'll do relay. And we'll see if that can come up. Relay is not showing up. There it is. One wyvern core, four energy cores, four diamonds. Yeah, one of these. That requires another star. We should have one available. Four of these. And so we got that one now. And then the diamonds. And we'll need four of those. Plenty of diamonds still. Uh, our bees are doing their job. Okay, so four diamonds spread out like so. And you'll notice I do have my acceleration wand. I brought that back in to make this whole process go much more quickly and it was four of those we don't need that one so put those in like so and like so and we should be able to say boom and that see how fast that charges up man that's great and then we'll go with the acceleration wand once it's time boom done okay 
So that gives us the next level. Do we have the charging wand or the crystal binder? Yes, we do. So let's turn one of those into the relay crystal. We'll grab that and we'll put one of those on like so. Like so and boom. Okay, so that's now feeding into there. And then we've got... Actually, you know, I should probably say uh, you come here and then also you come here and then we can redo this whole network. We only need to put one of these up here, right? So this is still bound to there and that's now bound to there. And then we can split the rest of these guys up. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we may be able to mix that one and that one. No. Okay. Huh. There. I think we have to clear all their settings out. Like that. Okay. And then we'll take that and that. And how many can we do? Four? Five? So we can do one side. And this should, should be good. All right, so like that. And then we'll grab the rest of these. All right, and so you kind of know what we got to do from here. That's connected over there. And then we do shift right click. And then we'll do that, 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 and that. Yeah. And then we'll do the same over here because we're going to have to go through and get the next batch turned into this draconic level. All right, so we're good to go there. And then we'll right click to change to output. Yep, because we got that wrong last time. All right, so uh, you, you kind of know what we're gonna be doing from here. I'm going to, I'm going to convert these over to, uh, to that level right there and then um, and then we'll go from there. So back in just a bit. Now, right here we are back again. I've gotten all of those converted over. And if we take a look with Crystal Binder, you can see the whole network set up. Should be good to go. It's all output, it looks like. Let's see. Hopefully I got all that right. We'll find out soon enough. I've got the next batch of materials on here. We're going to just... Go ahead and move that up. Oh man, it's charging so much quicker. And then we'll take the acceleration wand and make that go really fast. Boom. Not that we need that, but it's it's kind of nice to have. Okay, so we can throw those back into the system. And then the crystal binder, we can put that away because we're done. All right. Now, let's take a look at the overall Draconic armor. Okay. So... The way this works, we're going to need uh, these draconic leggings. Uh, what is that? Helm, chest plate, leggings, boots. Okay. So this right here requires fusion crafting. You have to start with the wyvern boots, and then you need a bunch of, oh my goodness, awakened cores. No, we're not kidding. Oh boy. I'm, I hope I don't have to kill the dragon anymore. We'll find out. We shall find out. But... Uh, we are going to have to do, how about the Awakened Cores? Okay, Nether Star has become Awakened Cores. Okay, how about the other parts? Draconic Energy Cores. Okay, so we'll probably need to make another pattern for that one. I think that's fine. Um, well, let's get this. And yeah, so let's head out of here real quick. You kind of see how this has to go. Making the Draconic stuff, the, the first level, the Wyvern, I guess that's the Wyvern tier, isn't so bad. Let's go into storage here. And I think we can make a pattern for, uh, for not that one. The Awakened Core requires fusion crafting, but this one, I think. Aha, there we go. So do we have... A compacting drawer no we don't so let's get a compacting drawer and it's keeping 
I don't want to have to make a recipe for our awakened draconium. We've got good. Okay, excellent. So let's set this down and then we'll put that in there like that. Get out the key. Do we have a key? We used to, I think we gave that to uh, the Figglesworth. So we have to get our a key back here and then packing tape. Do we have some of that? Seems like old school stuff. We've been in the higher tier stuff lately and not been going so much into this. All right. And our, our compacting drawer goes there. Okay, we should be able to say, oh, awakened. No, not that one. Uh, energy core, right? That one, draconic energy core. Crafting pattern, good. Okay, so then we can put that up into our system up here. And there's no conflicts on that line. So should be good to go there. And now let's take a look at the full-on Draconic armor. So at Draconic, and then we'll say, say the leggings, right? So take a look at this. We're going to need a Wyvern core and a Wyvern energy core for each one. Then we've got the Draconium ingots all around surrounding the diamond leggings. And I think that is pretty much... The name of the game so we can see up here same thing okay so i'm gonna do that real quick off camera and i'll bring you back once we're ready to start the awakened process well now i've got all of the wyvern level stuff but i wanted to bring you back before we jump into the awakened level of of all of this uh, i wanted to do one of these dragon hearts with you whilst we've got all of this new uh, new power supply power power generation stuff so uh, what we're gonna do is maybe throw the hearts on there and then um i've kind of run out of room haven't i so maybe we'll put the draconic book back in there and maybe the torches we don't really need those anymore so we should be able to get a little bit more room in our inventory here do we have enough Please let us have enough. We've got to split this into seven. Uh, not quite. Oh, it's not working. Like so. No. Yes. No, no, that's yes, that's right. Where's that? No, that's not right. We need seven on each one. Yeah. A six total. Okay. Okay. I'll get it right. Uh, that's one of the, one of the hassles we've got to do. I do math on camera. Okay. And let's put that in there. Okay. And okay. All right. Now we can go and chuck that in there. Let's see how quick that charges up. 350 million RF. And this thing is dropping like crazy. And then we can just go with the acceleration wand and boom we've got awakened draconium i'm going to finish that up and bring you back once we're ready for the armor well there we have it i have converted all of those dragon hearts over to awakened draconium blocks so i think we've got enough for a little while at least let's take a look at what's going to be required for each of these levels here so per piece of armor we're going to need two draconium ingots okay so far so good we're going to need one of these Draconic Energy Cores, so four of those total. So back up one, and then the Awakened Core. Each Awakened Core, we're going to need four of these, mind you. Each Awakened Core is going to need five ingots, plus four Wyvern Cores, and another star. So per, oh, so to total, we're going to need four of these, right? So 20 Draconium Ingots, Awakened Draconium Ingots. 16 wyvern cores and four nether stars okay so let's see if we can do this uh do the math here boom okay so we got 20 we'll do that and then the wyvern cores we're going to need 16 of those right and then take a look at the crafting process overall not so bad okay good and then nether stars, we're going to need 
four of those. Okay. We could throw one back. All right. Now we need to put this into five different things right there. Is that right? Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, once again, it's getting, uh, math's getting the best of me. Wyvern cores. We've got that. This needs to go into four. Okay. Yep. There we go. So per usual, you've seen this process. I'm going to do one on camera with you. Then I'm going to go off camera and do the rest because uh, once, once you've done one, you've pretty much done them all. Okay. And we're going to make each of those uh, awakened cores. How much is that going to cost RF? That's not too bad. Charge is pretty quick. Okay. Well, um, you kind of see the, the process, same as before. Acceleration wand to make it go quicker. And there we go. Back in a bit. All right. Now you've seen this whole process before. We're going to do this yet again. Only this time we're chucking in, say, the Wyvern Helm. Okay. So we'll charge that up. Get out the acceleration wand. I'm going to do this for each piece of armor. But what I want to do before I really get into that, let's grab this thing and we'll put it on oh it's filling up eventually yeah it's going to drain this whole flux capacitor right here we're going to have to find some other better way in fact draconic uh energy infuser yeah so let's do this guy can we do that no we're going to need three of these Can we do it? Yes. Okay. And then energy core stabilizer. Not quite. Let's get one of those. Good. And good. And then we'll make this guy. Oh, we missed. Uh, let's make one more. Used one up in, in the energy core stabilizer. So let's do that. And then we'll say, uh, maybe grab one of these relay crystals. No. Uh, what does that make? Crystal. How about that? Crystal. We'll get that one. Yeah. Okay. Then what we can do is say, uh, we'll put the, the infuser there and put that on top. And do we have, no, we don't, we don't have our binder. It should still be connected. Yes, it is. Boom. And that should be output. Yeah. So we should be able to say, uh, is it on us right now? 16 million. Oh, well, that filled that up. But how about this? That drained 8 million from there. Let's put that in. It should be going quicker than that, I would think. Maybe not. That's not too bad. Okay, so so yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's turn around here. You can get a kind of a glimpse of how this armor is going to go. I've got to do that. Well, well, I don't know. It looks kind of weird with the the mix mismatched armor. So let's uh, let's get the rest of them done. I'll bring you back and we'll see the whole armor ensemble. Now, doesn't this look rather ridiculous? I I think so. But one of the neat things is that you should be able to change the there's configuration settings, but apparently the configuration settings are a little off. Let's go check in here. Movement over to Draconic Evolution. Okay. Tool and armor config GUI. Well, how about R bracket? How about that? Let's take a look at what our bracket has to say. We can go in here and we can actually hide the armor. And there we go. So we'll still have the armor on, but but we can hide all of it. So it doesn't look like we've got any armor on. So there we go. Okay. And then I wonder, is there a way to get back? Okay. And then what? one more. We'll get the boots. Hide armor. 
All right, and now it looks like I don't have any armor on, but you can still see there in the bottom left corner, we've still got all of, of that, uh, that stuff on. Now, I want to do one more item here, one more thing. We're going to put um, some more Awakened Draconium in here, and then we're going to take, say, an Awakened Core, and I've done a little bit of work off camera. You can see we've got two Draconic Flux Capacitors, we've got a Draconic Sword and Shovel, just so you're one or in case you're wondering yep that required a lot more fusion crafting fun but there we go i took care of that off camera because it's kind of rinse and repeat from this point forward and then we take the draconic pickaxe we're going to say start and how much are we draining here oh not too bad that solar panel is keeping up during the daytime and we'll just do like we do and now we've got the Draconic Staff of Power. And it's got 60 attack damage in it. There's a few upgrades that we might be able to do. Let's take a look here. We can do an attack AOE upgrade. So, so yeah, maybe let's get out our... Uh, well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Draconic Upgrade. So we've got some upgrade keys. We want to do RF capacity maybe eventually, but... The digging stuff, I don't really care about. The attack damage, though, that would be really cool. Oh, man. Yeah, so we've got... Hmm. I don't know if I want to get into that right now. What I do want to do is, say, bring up these crystals here. And let's go see if we can have some fun with the dragon. See how many hits it takes to knock out the dragon what do you what do you say okay so let's head over to the end we should be able to go like this feels kind of weird with the armor not shown okay and we'll come over to our, this area up here make sure that we trap the the dragon up here because uh if we don't what, what may end up happening is uh, we won't be able to catch her. That's the thing. She flies really quickly. So let's do that. That, as we've done so many times before. Okay. And it's rather loud in my ears. I'm going to take care of that uh, in post-processing. Let's not accidentally... Um, mess up and, and go somewhere else. So how about here? This shift for details, control for upgrade, shift right click to change mode. Charge armor. Okay, so she's stuck right there. That's fine. Uh, we'll take out. Okay, that's good. And then one more right there okay so now she's stuck and i'm gonna get stuck too this is not actually that good huh so it didn't quite get her um charge armor so this is charging back up so how about this guy this is now in charge held items She's still getting healed from somewhere. Okay, well that was anticlimactic. It didn't quite do what I figured it would do. Uh, so that's where the attack upgrade might help. So if we could... Do, how many health does a dragon have? I don't know. But anyway, 60 attack damage. It's not too shabby. But it'd be nice if we could get close to one-shotting the dragon. That'd be great. But... What are we going to do? Anyway, so I've now got another dragon heart. But, um, yeah, let me take a look at the overall episode length, and then I will bring you back um, if, if, we're, if we've got room for other stuff in the episode. So, back in a bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is about time to wrap this thing up. So, what I'm going to do is... Uh, we whenever we switch armors we're we really need to go into some sort of, kind of like a retirement ceremony so we'll put 
we'll put the twilight forest stuff maybe we'll get back to the twilight forest i don't know but but we'll see we do need to retire our flux infused armor though and uh, in in prepping for this it reminded me that i needed to retire the diamond armor as well so so there we go anyway we we took care of some interesting stuff today we played around with the draconic evolution mod a little bit more i've got some hefty armor on but you can't tell because we can hide it which is pretty cool we've also got this draconic staff of power and uh and yeah anyway hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you are up to date with everything else going on in the channel that's going to be it for now. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.